Before we start this video, let me just do this quick SSR random generate card. I'm Itori and this is my bar. Welcome. Wow, look at that. A freaking unit I did not know. I didn't have. Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Kaijo. Today we're going to be looking a little bit into um, our game right here, Tokyo Ghoul. Um, and the reason why I want to look into this game is like, I've been getting some comments and questions saying that, is it worth playing? Is it fun? Is it free to play? Like what really is my opinion on the game and whatnot? So honestly, right off the jump, I would say the game is, um, it's a bit free to play. Yeah. Um, with grinding and leveling up your units and stuff, I think... <clears throat> it can definitely be considered to be free to play. Um, the reason why I say that is the way to play this game, you got to be really smart with what you do resource wise, because if you're using your materials on every character and you're not building up the main character that you guys want to use, then it's going to be kind of, it's going to be kind of hectic. Okay. Um, obviously there are a number of characters in this that are SSR, all right? And as you can see, I pulled almost all of them. Um, <clears throat> I have five SSRs that I have not pulled. Um, Juzo, I didn't try on his banner. I'm not really looking into summoning for him. Um, I'm gonna just skip him. But don't get me wrong, Juzo has his ideals and his um, perks on some teams. and. He's a very good counter for the blue units, especially because blue units are basically the meta of the game. They're basically running the game. But if you're not being um, smart with your resources, then you'll get to the point where you've used all of your resources and your team sucks. Your units are not strong. Um, for me... It started off because I didn't pull Kaneki, I didn't pull Arima, and I didn't pull Uta early on in the game. I got Rize and everybody else. The bottom lineup you see here, well, I had gotten them first. I got them first and I started working on them and then I was like, screw this. I need to figure out a way to get Kaneki. I need to get a, re a way to get Arima and Uta and I just started summoning like a madman grinding the game grinding as much as i can gr just making sure i can get diamonds and yes it is possible to get diamonds free to play all right the crystals are given to you as you progress as you do your dailies everything you do gives you um gives you rewards it gives you crystals they give you crystals for your dailies up, up, up here as well they give you crystals um and then for the main quest, you got crystal all over the place. You can get crystal, summon currency by just playing the game. Okay. Um, also, with your seven day goal, as you progress, you get crystals. You complete these things and you get crystals. You also get awakening items. You get materials. You get more crystals. You get um, stuff that you can do for limit break. Uh, you can get these that are uh, restoring your challenge attempts. That's universal. Um, you get summon tickets as well. By on day six, day seven, you'll get um, crystals that are pure energy to promote characters. You'll you'll be getting a lot of these things, man. And then down here, there are also goodies over here as well. So. As you complete these in the days go by, you get closer and closer, you can get more materials. These two being the main materials that you can get. One for limit break and then one for getting an extra uh, um, increase on the star level for an SSR unit. So it is very much free to play. Now, should you play this game? 1000% yes. It is completely like 7 Deadly Sins Grand Cross. And honestly, I enjoy the gameplay style the mechanic and everything the gameplay is fun okay i enjoy it pvp could be a little annoying especially if you're starting off later than early because you didn't get an immediate jump on the game but there's people that are like 200,000 plus and i still i still lose okay um <clears throat> um so the main question 
how do you start the game and what's the best way to start the game when you are first starting off for this game please i'm gonna let you guys know right now please go for them they are your goats and uta okay the probability on this banner is not that bad it's a 0.25 percent to get them and if you're re-rolling on accounts bro you better be ready to try to pull for Kaneki. if you get Kaneki, great if you get arima great um grind up that account keep summoning keep summoning keep summoning keep summoning keep summoning keep summoning try to pull as many dupes of, as you can for these two and then also you also want to get rize you can get ayato you can get um renji because he's a good back unit for a fifth unit uta definitely so your main three would be arima um uh kaneki and uta that's gonna be the base of your team you also could get rize you can get um ayato you can get well you get hinami right off the rip um and then like for your back people for the fifth unit you can get renji or you can get naki okay those will be your like basically <laughs> try to re-roll for my units right here this is the team that you want to get if you can't get naki get um get homeboy renji because renji is really good as well so try to re-roll for these units right here this lineup right here are the units you want to re-roll for early on in the game and that'll be your major team right there and then as you progress and stuff like that you get more crystals you feel like you don't want to summon on kaneki's banner anymore you can jump on juzo's banner you could try to get juzo um but there are also um other banners there that will be summonable as well you get these tickets as you progress in the game as you go along in the game you will get these tickets and you'll don't you can use them as single summons but i would try to collect them to 10 and do a multi you got a better better chance with the multi um now if you are going to be a spender there's gonna be a rize up here and if you spend a certain amount and like you get your 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 thing to a certain amount you can get an extra dupe of rize and you get a bunch of items for rebate but that's if you want to spend in, in the game um and the thing is the packs in the game are not that bad the packs in the game are relatively cheap compared to other games so i went ahead i did buy stuff okay i went and bought some stuff i got some rebate back and then the the rewards for rebate is incredible by the way just so you are aware um so yeah so all in all should you play this game yes is it free to play friendly super yes because again there are uh there are a bunch of things as you progress you'll get assignments you grind up your assignments okay you'll get to the intel market grind these up as well they'll give you a bunch of items that are awakening items materials um and you'll get these bingo numbers as well these bingo numbers if you use them here you can most definitely uh thank you let's post another wish for another seven um you can you can get rewards right here so if i use this seven right here boom i get these two items right there and then you get rc cells you can get uh well you get rc cells and then you get these um these are to enhance the rc cells these are really really good items to get and then um yeah they enhance the rcs you also get these chests these chests give you rc cells that are from srs to ssr and yeah this is all to give you s um rc cells man and it oh hello that's a number seven. Oh, hello another one so yeah, as you get these bingo cards, make sure you are looking at what the rewards are. You know, definitely put the A's in because you get a chance of getting a really good RC cell. All right, I can leave those. Um, and yeah, it's uh, look at that. I just did something. You go and you get also these right here. As you go along, you get gems as well. This game feeds you gems. It's super free to play friendly. Trust me when I tell you that. And you also get summon tickets. Oh no, this is for Yamori. Oh. Let me make sure I get this out for you guys. As you guys progress, you're gonna get you're gonna get combat boss Yamori. This is like um demons, demon raids in Seven Deadly Sins, and they give you awakening materials. The best thing about Yamori is you can um 
grind up your team and grind this up right here to get your units up um I'll get them to about level 60 or 65 and then you'll start needing to get these to ur your units these are going to be able to get you um characters to ur i would 100 percent recommend you to do so okay and then these two are not that difficult okay if you can get someone to like um play with you that are that's relatively close to the same cp as you or higher and it can carry you then that's really good i would recommend in the comments you guys make friends with each other and like join a discord or something like that and try to do your raids if you want you can join my discord i have some players already that are doing um that's playing this game you guys can raid with them you can raid with me as well you can invite me and i can help you guys with hard 100 i can help you with hard hard mode is um relatively it's difficult yes but i'm pretty sure we can get through it depending on what your cp level is um everything else as you go you'll progress so research you get to a certain enhancement level which i'm currently at 10 um and you get these as well so as you get dupes for your characters that's another thing when you get dupes for your characters you are able to upgrade your um attack boost hp boost and defense boost and it gives you right here enhancements to your uh, well over here sorry it enhances your um your certain so pen rate gets up if i upgrade again to 1.5 so you get a lot of enhancements to your um, initial teams, CP, etc. like that. You get ultimate skin skills. You can upgrade all of these to level 3. That is the highest upgrade level. And then you can also work on these. And these you get as you progress in the game. Alright. Um, and yeah, these are all different ultimate attacks. So you got Kagane's attack, Might of Awaken. I think these are single targets and Kagane's ultimate is AoE. So I would recommend doing that. Process is basically if you want to get materials and stuff like that. You want to like break down materials um, to get more materials. You can do that. I do not recommend you ever do this. Do not do this. Do not do any of these. Enhancement promote advanced promotion materials. Don't touch these. These are very important grind the game to get those do not salvage them rc salvaging this is a little more complex um i would recommend you guys like uh check out blade's video blade he made a very good uh video on these rc cells check the check that out and then these are to learn about the effects um and the descriptions of that so this is basically all the information that I can basically give to you guys and it's up to you now would you like to play this game it's up to you play this game if you want um, as you progress as well these give you amazing items and um, gifts as well so yeah just look into the, as um, playing this as well I can't bleat hell yet because I think I need a hundred oh I can definitely go for it now oh, I'm gonna try that now um, but yeah as you go along 100 percent man just play the game it's very free to play friendly and you can see right off the bat like it's very free to play friendly man i i can't really stress saying it enough people are gonna be like oh it's another tokyo ghoul game and it's just a money grab not really man not really i got far um in the uh, like leveling up my characters before i decided oh let me just try to see if i can get um Kaneki, Arima, and Uta. I had to basically get uh, to the end of the pity, which is the pity is 300 summons, by the way. It's not that bad. Um, and you can choose which character you want to get. So once you get to the pity, you choose which character you want. And every SSR is here for you, except for Juzo. All right. So I hope I helped you guys into, you know, thinking about whether you should play this game or not when it officially releases again you can download it for android using cool app okay for ios it's more hard you need to vpn create an account an ios account in the region so like i think taiwan or like thailand or something like that you can do somewhere around there and then you can download the game it's a very complex thing for ios but if you're an android player if you have an emulator if you have a pc if you have an if you have a tablet that's Android, Samsung, whatever, you can play this game by just downloading Cool App from the browser. Just go on your browser, on your computer or whatever, on your emulator, on your tablet. Type in Cool App, download, download Cool App, log in as a guest, type in um, 
Tokyo Ghoul Break the Chains, and you can download it like that. For iOS, it's a whole different story. All right, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and it was very in-depth into giving you guys an idea on how to play the game and stuff like that. Subscribe to the channel if you are new, and make sure you got the post notifications on.